Hello and welcome to another episode of Punto How To. In this episode I'm going to be going through the saga of the 2011 Fiat Punto Evo rear brake caliper. I initially did a video showing you how to replace the brake caliper but shortly after I'd done that the brake caliper failed. You may remember that I had done a video on changing the brake pads and discs on this car and it was about six months after this that the problems began. From the factory, Fit decided to paint the brake calipers bright red, and as you can see here, the caliper itself, although it's still got some remnants of red on it, seems to be missing most of its paint. The other thing you may notice is the dull, dark colour of the brake disc. And this is because the original brake caliper had finally failed and was binding. What do I mean by binding? Well, in this instance, the brake caliper was not releasing the brakes, and when you were driving along, the brakes were still applied, and it was causing the brake disc and the caliper to heat up. It was heating up to such an extent that it's changed the color of the disc, as you can see here, and also it was beginning to cause problems such as overheating the paint and causing the paint to flake off. Sometimes this problem can be caused by the sliding pins that the caliper moves backwards and forwards on in use. Uh, these can seize up and then the caliper gets stuck on the pins. I bought this kit for about £10 and thought it would be an easy fix. It's no problem I thought. I can do another video on changing the pins and I can also change the hardware on the calipers like these little clips here and uh, hopefully that would solve the problem of the pads sticking or the brakes binding and it would also give me another video for the channel but it didn't quite work out like that. I even used the correct brake grease and that still didn't fix the problem. So if I was going to have to change the caliper, which I did, I thought I would buy some other things as well. So I got some brake fluid, I also got some new handbrake cables. This is where I made the first mistake. This is the new brake caliper and I bought it very cheaply off eBay. I would thoroughly recommend whatever you do, do not buy a cheap brake caliper off eBay. After a lot of work and a lot of hassle, we replaced all the handbrake cables and we replaced the brake caliper and we bled the brakes and for a while everything was good and the car was working really well again. Six months later, however, the car went for its annual inspection or MOT as we call it in the UK. Two things had gone wrong. First, this mechanism on the back of the caliper which operates the handbrake had completely failed, so pulling the lever did not apply the handbrake at all. The second thing that had gone wrong is this rubber boot which protects the uh, caliper's inner workings from grit, water and other contaminants had just completely disintegrated and I could pull it apart with my fingers. It was just crumbling and it was complete garbage. So, second time around I bought a new brake caliper, this time I went to a reputable supplier here in the UK and I got the item delivered online but through their website and this was a reconditioned Bosch brake caliper, so it was a caliper that had been used, it was made by Bosch but it had been completely stripped down and rebuilt with all new components. So after two brake calipers, a lot of messing around, hours of fiddling around adjusting handbrakes, and also bleeding the brakes repeatedly, we're putting the wheel back on for the final time for this saga. Everything you see here on this short video uh, probably represents at least about 10 hours worth of work, just taking wheels off, putting wheels back on, changing brake calipers, taking them off, putting them back on, changing the brake pads and the discs, bleeding brakes, etc, etc. So it was a real nightmare to do this job. Aside from being a massive inconvenience, this also ended up costing me quite a bit of money. I believe the eBayer who sold me the first brake caliper replacement uh, refused to refund the money. They were quite awkward and quite difficult. So as a consequence, I ended up being out of pocket there on the price of a new brake caliper. Um, also, I lost quite a lot of skin off my knuckles with all of this, taking wheels on and off, taking brake calipers on and off, etc, etc. So it was definitely worth getting it right the first time than it was messing around all this time and not getting what I wanted um, and having to keep going back and keep going back and not really getting it the job done. 
So now it's your turn. Why not share your story on where you've tried to be cheap and ended up paying more, or where you've bought something which turned out to not be what you wanted it to be? Also, if you haven't already done so, click that subscribe button below. It uh, is a great way to then know when we upload new videos. I'm going to put the links in the description below to the videos on how to change the rear discs and pads as well as how to change the rear handbrake cables. So if they're of interest to you, do check them out. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, do give us a thumbs up by clicking that little thumbs up icon below and I will see you in the next video.